Today I'm taking a look at the Emulet MS-12 Mini. It comes in this really nice box. It's got 65,000 lumens, which we'll find out the results shortly. It has 12 XHP 70.2 emitters. So this is the largest torch that I currently own, and it is very powerful. It's got this really nice battery pack here. There's three fans and a on switch so one nice feature is you can turn the fan on by holding the button so let's hold it and all the fans are on now that's quite noisy and fun so i'll turn it on we've got five main levels in the main cycle group so i can just click and then hold to cycle between them all it gets quite bright and double click for turbo and strobe warning so double click double click and to lock it out just four clicks so those little lights there they flash so it's currently locked out so I don't blind myself by mistake it's a bit like looking at the sun when it's on so at the back here there's a, a ring and that's where you charge it so I can use the included charger, this one's for Australia, hook it up and there's some battery indicator there, it's currently green so it's good to go, uh, It will be if it's red it's going to be charging. Also comes with a lanyard that you can strap into this uh, little ring, so let's put that back on, I'll just twist it on, nice. And this is the battery pack. So it's a nice beefy battery pack. It's well lubricated. Cool. So yeah, MS-12 Mini, it's not really Mini, it's quite powerful. Uh, let's check it out and do some beam shots and some tests and I'll show you the results. So this is the Immolent MS-12 Mini on turbo and it's getting really, really hot. I measured the beam distance of turbo at 30 seconds and got a result of 674 meters, which is a bit short of the 1,036 meters that Immolent claim, but it's still a very impressive flutter. This is the Opel Lightmaster Pro 3 that I've used to measure the beam quality. So I've measured the color rendering index, the color temperature, and the delta UV. Let's check out the results. The color rendering index is about 69. The color temperature is around 5800 Kelvin, and it's like a little green on low and less green on turbo. This is the DIY lumen tube that I've built to test the Emulent MS-12 Mini, so it's quite large. I've needed to build this so that it wouldn't overpower the sensor of my smaller lumen tube. So I've got a Raspberry Pi collecting the data there. We've hooked it up to a temperature sensor. So I've got a, a little uh, thermal couple and there's a light sensor in that. So if I really need sunglasses for this, it's going to be quite bright. So it's really bright. That's pretty much it. So I just run that until it turns off and I test each mode. So yeah, let's check out the results. Turbo peaked at about 66,000 lumens, a turn on dropped to about 43,000 at 30 seconds, and the middle two mode lasted about 46 minutes at 10,000 lumens. The output regulation and sustained output is really impressive, check out those straight lines. Okay, let's see how hot this gets on turbo. It's measuring different parts of the torch.
the button itself is yeah 52 degrees 54 so the button's quite hot to press it's about 15 degrees in the room well wow. okay let's try and turn it off there we go so it peaked at 68 degrees Celsius that is hot Yeah, so it's okay to hold the battery pack, but it's quite warm. The head is definitely too hot to touch. I'd love to see Imlin add a shortcut to low from off. <laughs> like, so the user interface memorizes uh, the last used mode, like one of the five modes. So if I click the button, it jumps to one of those modes, which is like the third one now. And to access low from off, I need to disconnect the power, wait a couple of seconds and let it reset and then turn it on and it'll jump to low, which is sort of a long cut, it's not a shortcut, <laughs> but it'd be great to see a shortcut to, to low from off. Like you can double click for turbo, which is great, but love to see a shortcut to low from off. Overall, the Imulent MS-12 Mini is much more impressive than I expected. I wasn't, wasn't too sure what to expect with a soda can style light, but this is like a massive soda can style light with the 12 Cree XHB 70.2 emitters. You can see the room temperature is like 15 degrees here and on turbo it's hit, hit about almost 70 like 68 degrees and got a bit of condensation there but it's really powerful i had to build my own like big 160 millimeter lumen tube just to test this thing because my 90 millimeter lumen tube was too small when i was testing it it was just getting overpowered uh yeah so i built a big lumen tube tested a dozen different lights and yeah, after doing some calibration, arrived at the result of about 66,000 lumens on turbo, which is, like, awesome. Um, the throw could have been a bit better. It, like, only reached about halfway of the hair. Like, so the beam distance didn't reach as far as it, as Imolent stated it did. But this is really a powerful flutter for what... It's got these floody emitters and the orange peel reflector, like, produces, like, a really floody beam that just lights up half a mountain. So it's, yeah, really impressive as a, as a flutter. There are a couple of little improvements I'd like to see. Like, uh, it would be great if you could just add a tripod hole or even like a handle. Um, I know some of the bigger lights that Himalayan make do have handles on them, but just a tripod hole would be cool. So you can just put it on a tripod and use it for like search and rescue type applications, and you're not going to end up burning your hand on this because, like, the sustained output of this is really impressive. Uh, yeah, the run times were great. Uh, yeah, I'd like to thank Himalayan again for sending this through. Uh, yeah, it's really great to test these type of big flutters um, and yeah, big learning curve when I have to build a bigger lumen tube and calibrate it and yeah, worry about whether I'm going to burn myself. I did actually like burn my fingers a couple of times trying to turn this off when I was using turbo. So yeah, be, have to be careful with these powerful lights. Um, if you want to like, buy this yourself, check out the link below at the Imolent store. It's yeah, available there. And yeah, thanks a lot, Imolent, for sending it through for review.